Hello everyone, today I would like to present our research finding as a display on our poster. The topic of our study is the effects of the home-based ankle training program on muscle strength, balance, and gait function in the elderly. Firstly, we acknowledge that falls among the elderly are a significant concern due to age-related physical dec decline and other factors. Improvement in low limb muscle strength in crucial to the prevention of falls. Home exercise training would be effective, safe, and convenient for the elderly. In our research, we implemented a home-based training program specifically and targeting the strength around the ankle joint. We employ it to different training models by using a new ankle machine at the NAMG group and using the elastic band as the EBTG group. This study aimed to investigate the effects of these training programs on the muscle strength, balance, and gait function in the elderly. Our research methodology is depicted in the figure one. Involved in the following step, the participants maintain their usual daily life for the first three weeks of the program. Afterward, they begin the exercise protocol twice a week. Following videos demonstration on their mobile phones, for the duration of the six weeks, they are to test to establish the baseline data. The first is the T1 before the start of the program. The second is the T2 after the three weeks before the training begins to evaluate the training is effectiveness. The median test the T1 after completing three weeks of the training. And the end of the training, the post test was the T4 in the nine weeks. Our exercise program includes six general physical exercise and one resisted exercise at the ankle. Details can be found at the end of the poster. The participant performed all the exercises inside the position. Finger 2A illustrates the equipment, a new ankle machine. is in our NAMG while Finger 2B present the resisted exercise using electric band in our EBTG. During the training, the resistance would be progressively adjusted every two weeks, as illustrated by the yellow cross the pattern in the finger one. The assessment includes the participants' muscle strength, balance, and gait function for the best determination. We performed a paired simple T test between T1 and T2. If a significant difference was observed, we used the T2 as the baseline. If no significant difference was found, we averaged the sum of the T1 and T2 data for the baseline. We input in a two-way missing model ANOVA to compare the training effectiveness between the two groups before and after the training. Finger 3 showcases the following. A. Muscle strength test. Time seat to stand test be found while standing on the fourth plant. B. Static band test, pastoral stability assessment conducted while standing on the force plane. C. Dynamic balance test, why balance test employed to evaluate dyna dynamic balance. D. Get test, the rehab get system was a utilized assessment gate function. In the results session, we had a total of 36 elderly participants. With 18 individuals in each group, there were no statistically significant difference in demographic characteristic between the groups. Additionally, there were no intergroup difference in various assessment outcomes. However, both the groups show significant improvements compared to baseline measured before the training. A statistical fashion surveys performed after compilation of the training program show significantly higher training in NAMG for the first and third, third question. In Finger 4, we can observe the result of, of muscle strength related tests. First, the Finger 4A, five times C to stand test, and the Finger 4B, hip force the measurement with the force plan shows significant improvement after the three weeks of the training. And the progress was maintained until the six weeks. Finger five. Present the result of the balance related test. In finger five, A, 
single leg stand test with the open eye and the finger 5B with the closed eye. Significant improvements will result in the duration of a single leg standing. Significant difference will observed as the early and the three weights in the open eye stand test. Finger 5C show the center of the process error in the closed eye single leg stand test. Well, gradual reduction in error. Indicating reduction of body weight was observed after six weeks. Reaching significant difference in finger 5D demonstrating the center of the partial velocity in the open eye single leg stand test. Which showed a significant difference as early as the three weeks of the training. Indicating a reduction in velocity. In finger 5E e and F, white band's test of the left and right field exhibited significant improvements as early as the three weeks of the training, and the progress was maintained until the six weeks. Finger 6 displayed the result of the good test. Significant difference will result in the walking velocity finger 6A, cadence finger 6B, ankle range of the motion finger 6C, and top of the range of motion finger 6D. After the three weeks of the training, the improvement in the of the range of motion was maintained with the continued training. Discussion and conclusions. This study employees says the weight home best stress the training progress in the elderly. Members groups with a different ankle muscle strength model can improve the layer muscle strength balance and gait function. Significant higher the fixation rating were found in the older participants in the NAMG. Specifically, in the question one, is training equipment reliable per study? And the question three, do you feel the training equipment is safe? Suggesting the using of a new ankle machines can provide a more stable exercise trajectory. Limitation in the future directions. There was no interaction between the majority of the two groups, and we speculate that longer training times or higher intensity training may be required to show difference in increment between the two groups. In the future, the ankle strength training could be applied to different type of the participants. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions regarding our research, I would be happy to answer them.